You know, a gold iPhone is already kind of a flex, but how have you ever wanted to flex so hard it doesn't even make financial sense anymore? <laughs> All right, here's your new phone. This is the iPhone 11 Pro Solarius Zenith by Caviar. All right, what's up guys? I'm KidBHD here. Shout out to everyone else on family tech support duty during the holidays. I feel you. So this, uh, <laughs> there's literally nothing I can say about this phone that's useful to a normal person. This is purely just a showcase of a fun and ridiculous iPhone 11 Pro mod um, because you really just don't get to see something like this every day. So this boutique, this small company out of Russia called Caviar, they reached out and they wanted to know if I wanted to check this thing out. I said, would you like to check it out? I said, uh, okay. And then they flew someone here to hand deliver it. So what exactly is this? This is a space gray iPhone 11 Pro with the glass back replaced by a massive mechanical clock structure plated and covered in 24 karat gold and exactly 137 diamonds. It's ridiculous. And actually, the ridiculousness starts from the unboxing experience. So after you get past the included pair of microfiber gloves and the cloth sleeve, you get to the phone box and the phone itself is in this custom black and gold box. Okay, so the peel was just as satisfying as any normal iPhone. And then for all the accessories, well, below it, there's another section of this custom box with some paperwork, including a certificate and a serial number and a one of one certification. And then you have three black boxes with your caviar accessories. First box is a USB-C charger in the box, a f an iPhone with a fast charger in the box. So you could, it's, I guess you have to spend 100,000 bucks on an iPhone to finally get a fast charger in the box. Then the second box is a lightning cable and a couple of smaller things, including a custom gold-plated shark-shaped SIM card removal tool, this golden rod thing that we'll get into in a second. And uh, then this third box is a completely custom pair of matte black AirPods Pro and a painted case with painted logo and painted AirPods complete with the gold caviar logo. That took me off guard. That's actually pretty impressive. Wow, okay. So the accessory bundle is really legit. I was impressed with that, but that's not what we're here for. The main attraction is clearly the phone. First thing you'll notice, and this is not a joke, this is super serious, this phone is incredibly heavy. As soon as you pick it up, you'll notice this. I put it on a scale against a normal gold iPhone 11 Pro. The Caviar phone weighs more than twice as much, 434 grams. That's more than two Galaxy Note 10 Pluses. You gotta get like a Palm phone on top just to match the weight of the one gold caviar phone. So yeah, it's heavy in the hand. It's thick too, which you can obviously see. And then of course there are tons and tons of details to admire. The lines, the concentric circles, the engravings, the diamonds all over it. It is absolutely nuts. But it's all still connected to a regular iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, it does have a, a pre-installed pretty low-res caviar wallpaper and the region is set to Russia. But other than that, the functionality is exactly the same. The great camera, the great battery life, the whole thing. I mean, you know what an iPhone is. Although, I guess you don't have wireless charging anymore. You're gonna lose that. And then you might have also noticed the text on both sides. On one side is the name brand and your limited edition number one of one, which is so sick. And then on the other side, you get a little more info. It's an iPhone 11 Pro, it's 24 karat gold, it's got diamonds, and it's a caviar phone. So, what was that rod thing from before? The thing in the unboxing? Well, the clock on the back of this phone, did you even notice it's a clock? The clock on the back of this phone is a fully functional mechanical watch instrument thing, because of course it is. So you get this gold plated rod in the box with the logos printed on the caps, and you can unscrew it to reveal a hex tool. And it turns out this hex tool is what you use 
to wind up the watch at the beginning of each week. On the corner here, you can use that to wind up the spring mechanism and that gets it going and it just keeps running. All right, I actually looked it up. It's called a tourbillon, apparently. I'm probably saying that wrong. Tourbillon. Uh, but if you wanna learn more about them yourself, you can just read the Wikipedia page for that word. I'll link that down below if you wanna have your mind blown a bit. But now you have a working mechanical watch complication on the back of your $100,000 phone. It clicks and ticks constantly and you can hear it all the time, especially if you have your phone up to your ear to make a phone call. Now, I don't actually wanna put my SIM card in this Russian phone to test to hear if you can hear the audible ticking through a phone call, but yeah, trust me, you can hear it. Okay, I also noticed there's a glass screen protector pre-installed uh, to really protect your investment. I personally almost never use these, but there you go, it's on the phone. And yeah, if you go spec one of these out on their site right now, you can have a similar one made this one as spec'd is $101,590. And if you go up to uh, the iPhone 11 Pro Max, since it's bigger, it's much more expensive because there's more gold. And just for the hell of it, spec it up to half a terabyte. That's $121,280. But also limited edition, one of one. So that's kind of sick. Ah, God, you didn't, you thought I was gonna drop it. So wh why, why does this exist? Why does anything like this exists because you've seen like those other random insert luxury item here plated in gold costs 10 times what it should you've seen that right the answer is again kind of like the others just because they can and and there's a small group of people who will appreciate the customized mastery of the mechanical engineering that goes into a, a watch face like this i mean think of the whole watch world matter of fact luckily on the last episode of the waveform podcast shout out to it if you want to check out our new podcast it is also linked below uh, we spoke to Kevin O'Leary, AKA Mr. Wonderful on Shark Tank. And I was just chatting with him for a bit. And at a certain point we noticed I was wearing an Apple Watch Series 5 and he was wearing an $80,000 collector's item, one of one watch with a special red band. And we talked about it. You know, the other day I, I, looked, I was looking at this watch and a woman beside me who I didn't know said, what time is it? I said, I have no idea. She said, you just looked at your watch. I said, that has nothing to do with the time. <laughs> I'm appreciating the art, the mastery of making this piece, which is one of right. 10 in the world, and it just brings a tear to my eye, and I love to look at it. Yeah. I have no idea what time it is, I don't care. Yeah, so for that person, with a penchant for collecting stuff and appreciation for the mechanical engineering going on here, I could totally see that incredibly wealthy person getting this phone, reaching in their pocket to pull it out, and just staring at it. I mean, sure, there's technically a clock on the back, but are you really reading that? Maybe just turn the phone over and see the time with the digital clock on the front, but go right back to enjoying the crazy design on the back. And that's it. To be clear, I don't think this is a great idea for most people. It's a piece of tech still. It's kind of like how that Apple Watch Edition gold version never really took off and Apple eventually discontinued it because there's a new one next year. But hey, if you gotta flex this hard to start a conversation, I guess that's a hell of a conversation, man. So that's pretty much it. This is the opposite of the tech that I normally play with where we're like, hey, should you buy this, should you not? But I figure this is an opportunity I probably will never get again to hold a $100,000 phone like this. Um, so I figured I'd share that with you guys. Right back to the stuff we typically talk about in the upcoming videos. And again, shout out to the Waveform podcast down below. We're on episode 12 already coming out on Friday. And I think it's been pretty fun. Either way, thanks for watching. Donate to Team Trees if you haven't already by the end of the year. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace. Okay, so that was clearly a video about something extremely expensive that you should probably never buy, but you know, it's not extremely expensive that you probably should buy the sponsor to this video, which is NordVPN. So just having a VPN in general is great and it's useful. And I've explained it before in previous videos, but protecting your data online is very important, but also just selfishly the ability to be able to check to see if a website looks differently to people in Russia, for example, than it does in your home country using a VPN. And the site will never know that that's what you're doing. Another useful feature. So NordVPN is having a holiday sale right now and you can see that at nordvpn.com slash mkvpn or if you wanna just use promo code mkvpn. That'll get you a three year plan at 81% off plus two amazing gifts for these holidays which are four additional months for free and the NordPass password manager app which is $195 value. So feel free to check that out at the link below. And again, thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video.